Right now we are located at the warehouse of our partner, Rajno Company, which is a logistical company that after the start of the war shifted to humanitarian support of people in all the regions of Ukraine that were affected by the war. These people that volunteering here, it's uh, just people all around the Lviv and some of them are from another countries and cities. We need to select uh, all different kind of wood. In this side, it's, uh, they select uh, clothes. And this side, it can be hygienic. In uh, my department, work only doctors. We work with uh, unknown for us medicines. We have a volunteer center at UKU. We receive humanitarian aid from different countries of Europe and also from the local people in Lviv and the region. They process it and then they distribute it among the different people who are in need. Our main focus right now is to gather stuff abroad and also produce some specific categories on local um, factories and send them back uh, directly to the front lines, to the soldiers and also citizens who got damaged because of the war. Uh, we have a lot of uh, different spheres and every student can do something for our victory. During these days, uh, students of the Ukrainian Catholic University have been supporting the information department in creating uh, different formats of content to fight with the fake information from the uh, Russian community. We are very grateful to those who contributed to the establishment of this shelter and help us to provide good living conditions for people uh, in difficult life circumstances who are forced to leave their homes. At the very beginning of the crisis we needed clothes and we are thankful to the donors that in a very timely manner we received all these clothes we needed. Right now this is not a category in need. There are huge stacks of clothes right now that is not being distributed because there is no need in the war zone. And it's interesting to find out that what they need most of course is just what we've been trying to provide which is medicine and also purchasing food supplies for the fronts, as well as safety equipment for those health workers who are working with children and hospitals as well. Unfortunately, as you know, even people doing humanitarian aid are being shot at. And so we have to provide safety equipment for those going into those uh, zones to deal with civilian needs. Uh, it's not just a military question. Unfortunately, the entire country is in need of protection. Thanks to our partners, we know the needs. We have the system in place uh, that helps us to buy the food and medicine. We have a supply chain that helps transport it from countries of Europe to the end user. And we are thankful to you so much that you help us to sustain this system. We want to thank our friends from other countries, our diaspora. We together have this front line here. Thank you a lot again for your help and support and uh, we hope that you will stay also with us uh, in this uh, big historical moment. Your help is very important for us. In this incredible crisis I'm just so impressed to see how much people have been donating. Thank you for your speed and, as well as your generosity in making all this possible. Both the work with logistics companies and our partnerships with firm pharmaceutical companies in Europe that we're able to buy so much from and send out protective equipment around the country. This is an extraordinary crisis, and thank you for your response. It's a harsh time for Ukrainians. Many people are dying, and tragedies happen every day. At the same time, uh, this is a special time when the united Ukrainian nation is being born. I would like to thank all of you for your enormous support. Ukrainians are united not only in Ukraine, in Ukrainian boundaries, but also Ukrainians in the whole world. We are united in our attempts to defend our nation. And I may say that friends in need are the friend 
indeed. Thank you very much and God bless.